Dolce wants to play. It's a Dolce wants to play. You will. She said, You will play with me. Tugs. Yeah, see. Ooh. See, um, some people were asking about does the pit lab mix? He's the one right there with his belly up. Does he get along with the Corsos? And yeah, he does. And, uh, and she tries to play with him. Get it, girl. And, uh, but most of the time she plays too rough. And so he'll try to avoid them. But, but they do get along. Uh, before I had Ozzy, I had Tux. Tux is a rescue, uh, Humane Society rescue. And, uh, so when I got Ozzy as a pup, they would play tug of war. They would roll around, and then of course, that you know, within a couple months, Ozzy outgrew Tux, and that was about the end of that. Tux is like, okay, I'm done. I'm not. I'm not gonna mess with you. <laughs> so, so he kind of steers clear of uh, of Ozzy. Tux does, and. Uh, but yeah, but I'm just showing here that they, they do get along. There's no there's no like uh aggression type issues or anything like that. It's just that Tux is the older the oldest one in the pack and and he's a little bit more mellow. He probably would be better with, you know, like a lab or something. He would probably play with that kind of a dog because he loves playing with other dogs. He just and and, the, and these corsos are not aggressive at all to him they just genuine you know they just try to play with him uh you know with that being said ozzy has communicated to tux that that he's that ozzy's the alpha over tux uh and so tux uh do doesn't try to challenge that at all he probably knows he's uh <laughs> no match for ozzy so but but other than that, Ozzy doesn't insist. You know, he only does it occasionally, like, hey, uh, you're in my space or something. You know, he, he's not a, he's not real, you know, overly assertive about it. So, yeah, one other thing that Dolce does. I don't know if any of y'all have dogs that do this, how, how she suckles like that. Hey, Tugs. See how she's kind of suckling? She'll do that, you know, when she gets comfortable or when she's sleepy, she'll do that. See what I mean? Ozzy's coming to... Uh-uh, Ozzy, leave it. Ozzy comes around and, you know, moves his weight around with this kind of posture saying, Hey, get out of my space. I own this space. I'm the alpha. I try to check, th try check that, you know, I try not to let him do that too much. Because I want Tux to be able to move around freely in the house, too, without having to... Come on, Tux, it's okay. Without having to, um, you know, always try to avoid these dogs. And, and as you can see, yeah, he does occasionally. Ozzy, leave it. But, you know, sometimes you have to intervene a little bit and um, put the, put the uh, alpha dog kind of in check if he's being too assertive. Give me this. Give me this chew. Give me this chew. Hi, Papa. Oh, Papacito. My Papacito. Okay. Okay, man, I need to clean these dang floors again. See, if I don't run that robot daily, uh, it will um, definitely become a problem. Give me this chew. Oh, she is strong. She's moving my whole body. Uh, goodness. See, there's Tux. Ozzy made a move from the dog bed. Oh, man, y'all. Tell you what. 
It's been a day. It has been a day. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we're uh, we're just chillaxing. I I just wanted to show you that little because you you probably never get really get to see tux. It's all about the corso for tux. But yeah, but yeah, they do they do get along. Oh baby girl. So anyway, I'll talk at you guys later. Say bye yes. Bye bye. <laughs> bye y'all. Give me that you. Give me that you. <laughs>